down the hill a little bit more. It's not a very large hill. <laughs> um, and here's the little white building that I'd shown earlier. And what I find interesting is if you look up here at the very top of this pole, there is a pulley. And I'm wondering if at the time, if that was used for a flag or exactly what the pulley is for. It's kind of interesting. It looks more like an industrial building of some sort. Um, not sure what the purpose would have been for. Uh, as that just kind of hangs off of the the top here, you can see. And unfortunately the lighting is a little bit still early in the morning, so it's the lighting is not the best. I might come out here out here and do a better job at some point. Um, still hooked up to a meter, so apparently it may still have power of some sort. Of course the boards on this side, or the windows on this side boarded up. But a very interesting little building. And then, as we come over here, there's another old house. You can just barely see it through the trees here. And you'll notice that this actually was at one time, or it still is, but not in very well repair, um, asphalt road. So at one time this is fairly well trafficked, I would imagine. And again, this is a, a home. Uh, it, it's in shade, unfortunately, so we can't see too awful well. But the that is actually shingling that is uh, done like brick. And of course, this has not been occupied for quite some time and in very bad repair. But at some time, this would have been a nice little home for someone. Uh, detail in the eaves. I'm still getting used to this camera, by the way. Back there, you can barely see it. That's actually a pickup. Uh, or not a pickup, but a, a, like a farm truck of some sort that looks like it's been sitting there for a while. Um, not a very easy way to get back there. Um, and then, of course, there's the grain elevator. We're going to walk down the road a little bit and actually take a look at the elevator from here. Uh, and unfortunately, we're totally in shade. But kind of get a look at some of this before I come straight over to the elevator itself. And these little elevators, actually, this was part of the, uh, the railroad line. Uh, when I get up there I can show you a little bit better. Um, but North Dakota was crisscrossed by rails um, as a way of getting the, uh, the grain and, and, and other firm commodities to market. And I'll leave this here and then I'll get closer to the, uh, to the elevator and we can kind of see what's going on over 